the mind plays tricks on you and often the the thought of things going wrong the thought is a lot more is a lot worse than actually when it actually does go wrong but sometimes you have to take yourself out of the comfort zone don't you and experience it and often providing you're not being completely silly but you know the difference of jumping two foot to two foot six you know I think that's where you can maybe use your imagination because if 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 you're you know sat on a pony with ability or whatever I think you can say to yourself actually I've just got to ride exactly the same I've got to pretend it's a two foot jump and ride exactly the same and then when you actually push yourself that bit and it goes well then you're delighted and you you've gained confidence from that but you tried it and then if it doesn't very often the worst way is the pain might stop or it knocks the fence down and that's where it's often isn't it the 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 worry of sort of failing and that's where the nerves come from and i'm saying you know i do get nervous but i try to think now the nerves are more positive and um and i do if i if i find my my mind is working in the wrong way and blowing things up in my imagination, which is often the problem, um, then I really do work hard to completely distract myself, do something completely different. <laughs> um, well, I'm laughing because I haven't been to a show for a couple of months because of the building work we've been doing, and I went to a show last week, <laughs> and I jumped round on a young horse. It was his first, sh first um, show it had done, and the girls were all there, and... and, and jumping and I um, jumped round as I jumped the last fence thinking oh he's really jumped well they rang the bell and I <laughs> missed out two fences <laughs> so that's why I'm laughing so I think I need to know the advice on that one oh, okay. follow the numbers from one to ten I think a way to imp improve your dressage without necessarily um, riding any differently is to just be very very disciplined as in, if it says trot at the marker, trot at the marker, and to make yourself ride into corners and make yourself go on a straight line. So by riding in a more disciplined way, it makes you ride accurately, and to ride that way, it makes you ride better anyway, without someone saying, use a bit more inside leg, or this, that, or whatever, you know. So I think you could just, and, and to just sit up and be very accurate. I think the main thing I'd say is not to override because very often if, um, if you're worried about a certain fence the natural reaction is to override so never try and use speed because you're a bit frightened because horses sense that if you suddenly start overriding too early you know it might need a good kick but it doesn't mean go faster sometimes we beat ourselves up and I think whether it, you're producing young horses or whether you're trying to get better yourself it goes in you know you often go two steps forward and one step back and you think oh think of it as a, a long process it's not going to happen overnight night and I think it's the main thing is it's important to sort of learn from your mistakes and if we didn't make mistakes then we're not going to learn you know and that, that's what I try to to say it's got to go wrong for you to learn to then make it better sort of thing one thing I would say is is you, you know be you you can ask advice, you know, people are more approachable than you think, but unless you ask, you don't sort of, you're not going to get the advice. And, and I think, you know, there are plenty of books out there, there are plenty of people out there, and I think it's important to, to get advice and, and, and obviously work hard. Very, you know, really important to have good blacksmiths that work with us, which they do. We've got um, sort of two, two lots of blacksmiths. Um, we've got someone that does the sort of slightly more sort of specialist cases, you know, where we sort of feel, you know, there are issues that need addressing with the, with the feet. Um, and they, they're great, they work with us. And then one of our main people, Jenny Stevenson, part of our team, who's a physio and she comes in every Monday. She'll be, she's probably down at the other yard now, but every Monday she comes sort of midday and spends month, the half day Monday every week. Um, going through not all 80 horses at all but going through if we feel um you know she basically does all the top competition horses but like at this time of year for instance because mine have only just come back in they've all had their sort of pre-season 
look and check and providing I'm happy um, with them she probably won't look at them maybe for three f four weeks but if she's not looking at them we'll get her to look at something else so a young one that maybe might be a little bit stiff for one way on one rein so you know she'll see them walk up trot up but we'll put them on the lunge on a hard and she'll feel their backs and she's very very much part of it and then she'll always check mine before an event and check them after and the same thing with Williams. Um, Jenny who's in the office because obviously the logistics to running an operation this size so she's very very much key to our whole operation the doing all the the paying the bill obviously we sign the checks but you know making sure that bills are paid and mm -hmm and all the paperwork's up to scratch. Sponsors are, are very key and I'm very lucky because um, Toggy have been with me for years. I've been with them since the sort of mid 90s. So they've supplied me with, with the kit and, and Duvaku is another, they've, you know, we've have saddles and tack off them. And then we have the fun, a sort of funnel range of rugs and things. So that was sort of something William and I got involved with there and and so we're very lucky you now i've got ssg which are gloves so i'm really yeah very very lucky and mm. and one of our main backers which again is is absolutely vitally important who, who we do work closely with is alan and paige